Hey everybody, we're trying to recover a quadratic expression where a couple of initial conditions are given. Now I'm going to rewrite this in, in a kind of a more standard form. Divide through by the leading coefficient to make it a monic. Okay, so it's b over ax plus c over a. And we're, we are talking about finding the zeros. So we divide it, we set equal to zero, then we divide it through by the leading coefficient, which gives us um, an equivalent expression. Okay, so uh, here we go. We got b over a is the coefficient of x, and then c over a as the, uh, as the ends up being the product of the zeros. Now, just to show you how we can make some progress here, again, we're given that minus the sum of the zeros of the original expression is minus 21 over 4. Okay, well, if you have two generic zeros here and you expand this out, you know, every zero corresponds to a factor. If you expand this out, you get minus the sum of the zeros right here. This, this object right here is minus the sum of the zeros where R1 and R2 are the zeros. They're unknown, but minus, whatever they are, minus their sum is the coefficient of X. So you see right here, we have B over A as the coefficient of X, but minus the sum is what belongs right here okay so that's where we got this okay now uh, so we also know that the product of the roots of this translate f of x plus five this is in other words this graph would be shifted to the left five units uh, not that you really need to know that as far as working the problem but uh, down here um, did f of x plus five for you and we got this piece right here as your constant term now Okay, 25a plus 5b plus c is your new constant term in this scenario. Now, we'll divide through by the leading coefficient just like I did right here. Okay, and uh, we, get, we get this. So, in other words, we're applying Vieta, what they call Vietas again, but hopefully it's just you see why Vietas holds because the product of the zeros always appears at the end. All right, and that we have to divide through by A to make it monic. You see, this is a monic quadratic, a degree one. I mean, not degree one, but leading coefficient of one. Okay, now let's see what about, let's see about the arithmetic. Okay, y'all, the 105 over four, well, that's just 25A divided by A is, of course, 25, right? We're assuming A is not equal to zero. And then uh, five times B over A. Okay, well, B over A is 21 over four. So you see, this is, of course, this piece right here is just 5 uh, times uh, t 21 over 4, right? It's this guy right here. And so, uh, you see, we're about to figure out what C over A is, which is a good idea because that is the, the, the product of the zeros up here. All right, so um, how does that work out? Let's see. Uh, this would give us, I'm going to bring all this stuff to the other side, folks. So this would give us what C over A. And y'all, what I'm going to do is try to do this. Uh, I'll leave this on this side, all right, on the left-hand side. And I'll bring everything to the right-hand side. So you would get 101, or excuse me, everything's going to be over 4, right? So you would have 202 over 4 minus 100 over 4. Right, 25 is the same as 100 over 4, and then minus 105. And of course, folks, this is all over 4, right? Okay, so it looks like 205, this is equal to minus 3 over 4 is what I'm getting. Minus 3 over 4 is what c over a is okay so you see we're, we're in really good shape here because we know b over a was given to us notwithstanding the sign okay and so what we get right here is that uh, this would be uh, x squared i gotta look up and see again uh, b over a is 21 over 4 plus uh, 21 over 4 Minus 3 over 4. Yeah, you know, there's certainly more than one way you could write this. Uh, this is in the monic state. Uh, if you wanted everything to be integers, um, 
you could also write it as there's an infinite number of ways you could write it, I suppose uh, maybe a let's see if you multiplied through by four thirds you would get four thirds x squared right so you see the instructions are kind of a you, there's a, an infinite number I guess that would meet the deal meet the criteria if you multiply this by four thirds what do you get plus seven you have four over th yeah the four is canceled it plus seven x and of course the point of multiplying by the reciprocal would you would get minus one okay so that this is a couple of answers this whatever this is the monic uh, solution for our f of x okay so uh, these are all equal to f of x right and they all satisfy the original condition of the sum being minus 21 over 4 and the product of the transite being 101 over 2. Notice we have no clue what those zeros are, but we know, uh, we know the polynomial that produce, produce these two initial conditions. Okay, so um, any one of these, I'll, I'll just circle the whole thing here. Multiply through by any convenient constant. This is what we got when the problem worked out. This might be more in keeping with wanting an A right here and a B right here and a C right here that are, quote, nice. But there's an A right here. The A is just one, right? So everything's cool, and we're finished with this problem.